Hey everybody, this is Nicholas, also known as NTK of Luciform, and this is the last boss of the instant secret base, known as Bloodbound Vulcan, and then Merdran... Mer... Merdranarek? I don't know, they put too many R's on the name. Anyways, this video is going to be a little bit different than previous strategy videos I've uploaded, as this game is significantly different than every other MMO out there at this point. I'm not going to be able to give you exact damage numbers, as there's honestly no way for me to actually be able to get them. The boss's mechanics in this fight are not as predictable as in most MMOs either. That's what makes Terra such an interesting game and makes this boss fight so much fun. Your group makeup for this boss should be essentially the standard trinity of, you know, having one tank, uh, one healer, and the rest DPS, so in this case three DPS. Although if you look in this, we're actually four manning it because one of our DPS decided to go AFK halfway through the dungeon. And we just finished it without him. The only type of tank I can endorse in the game right now is a Lancer tank, but you should be able to do it with a warrior also if you really need to. The issue is warriors, at least in closed beta test 1 where this video is from, cannot really tank that well. They take a ton of damage. Uh, so the fight will be significantly more difficult. You can bring any DPS class you want. Uh, Berserkers do a ton of damages. Sorcerers, archers, all of them, they, they do a ton of damage. So any DPS is good. And then either a priest or a mystic can heal through it. Uh, we actually have both a priest and a mystic in this video as well just because we... Uh, we wanted to run with our, our favorite group, you know, of our friends. Um, the basics of this fight, pretty simple. The boss is facing you, get the hell out of the way. Uh, the tank will not be able to keep the boss's attention the entire time. The boss does choose people, jumps at them, runs at them, tries to eat their face. You need to get out of the way. Uh, a Lancer tank will take almost no damage on this fight at all. But if he happens to hit healer or DPS, it kind of it kind of hurts. I mean, he does a ton of damage to us. Uh... One of the things you need to watch out for healers is he does put a dot on some people that needs to be cleansed. If you're a mystic, make sure you have balls all over the ground as they cleanse people. You also have your targeted cleanse, but, uh, you know, if you have balls on the ground, people should be able to just pick them up and get healed and dispelled that way. Uh, priests, make sure you're watching for it as well, because you can just dispel it. And, uh, really, people just need to make sure they're not getting hit if they're not supposed to be. The best way for me to show you how to do this fight is to show you what you need to watch for to avoid unnecessary and completely avoidable damage from his different abilities. The first ability I want to show you is his targeted leap ability. Basically, it's exactly what it sounds like. Uh, as you can see here, he's running towards the wall. He'll attack the tank for a minute or two, but then he'll start to plant his feet. You can see he's facing out towards somebody. He planted his feet, and he jumped towards them. Uh, he lands where the person was at when he started that process, essentially. So if you see him getting ready to jump, and he's facing towards you, you need to move to avoid that damage. He also has an AOA melee sweep ability. Uh, I wasn't able to actually get any good video of him doing it, so I can't show it to you, but if you watch for it, you know, he does kind of like a, a swinging side-to-side -side type motion. I think if you're directly behind me, you will not actually get hit by it, but I haven't actually tested that theory. And the only other real notable ability he has is that he will charge at people in a straight line. So if you see him charging towards you, you just have to strafe left or right, and you'll be able to avoid taking any damage from that ability as well. One of my favorite things about this encounter is that sometimes the boss will just seem to go berserk, and he'll use all of his abilities back to back to back to back to back, which you've been able to see happening here, actually, where he's just leaping, running, leaping, running, leaping, running, and it, it makes it a lot of fun. Just make sure you stay alert and pay attention to what the boss is doing, and you'll be able to avoid taking any damage even during phases like this one. Now the next thing you need to take note of doesn't actually happen until the boss is down to about 10%, so let's go ahead and skip to there. At 10%, you're going to see the emo Arrogant Fools, I'll handle this myself, and then Berdranic will actually spawn. Your tank will need to go pick him up right away, and he should then become your primary DPS target. He actually only has one ability that I've been able to find, and that is that he heals Bloodbound Vulcan. In this video, we ended up with a bit of split DPS as it was the first time for a couple of us actually running this dungeon, so we did end up healing quite a bit on Vulcan. Either way, when you go in there, make sure you switch to Merdranic first and kill him, as he does die very quickly and he has very little hit points anyways. After that, switch back to Vulcan, finishing him off, and you will get your loot. Now speaking of loot, the dungeon loot in this game is all bind and equip, so if you pick up something that is an upgrade for somebody else in your run, you should really consider giving it to them as there's no way that we've been able to find that says, hey, let's make sure Lancers get the Lancer loot. Instead, it seems that it just goes out automatically to a random player in the raid. So hopefully if you hook an archer up, he'll hook you up when you need something as well. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. The Terra videos will keep coming. 
Also, if you look below the video, there's these little hands, and I think they're fighting each other. I'm kind of cheering for the one on the left, so if you could click on him to show your support, I'd appreciate it. Thanks, guys, and good luck.